and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over the top budget beast in Madden 20 that you need right now. Now, guys, you guys have been asking for this video for like a month now, saying update your budget beast video, and I have not gotten around to it. But today, slower day, didn't have any videos to make, so worked out perfect. I made my list. I have about nine to ten players in there, depending. I didn't want to stack it out to ten all the way because I couldn't find any of the players that I really think were just like must have. A lot of them are similar. Like, let's say there's like seven receivers with 90 speed. I don't want to put all seven on there. I'll pick the one that I like the best or the coolest one. I'll put that one on there. That's kind of what I did. So I don't want to stack it out just to force the list. So I have pretty much a consensus of what I like. Some of these cards I actually have on my team and even use. And even for me, yeah, budget. So these budget players are that good that they fit on my team just fine. And or even up to recently, I was using them. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, boys. Every one of you, I greatly appreciate every one of you that come out every single day and get show support in the video. And if you can, be so kind, comment down below what budget players you think I missed, who should be added to this list, and what you think needs to change. I always love your feedback for next time. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You guys have been smashing the like button. You guys killed it for Sunday Noti Gang, so hopefully Monday Noti Gang is just as good. Now, guys, let's get onto this list. Show you guys the best budget players in Madden. So, at number 10 is a guy that at one point wouldn't have been considered that budgety, but because of the price of training, he is now highly budgety. So, I know most of these stats by heart, so I'm gonna give you guys a good idea of what they are. Dion Sanders power up card. So, you don't have to play, you don't have to buy this, you can go play the solo and get it for free. Then, if you power him all the way up to his 90 overall without his full card, it'll probably cost you below 100k in training which is very budgety in my opinion for a guy like Deion Sanders. Now what you're looking like on a budget team with this kind of cornerback, he's going to have a 90 speed, like a 90 excel, close to 90 agile, like an 86 jump, like I believe like an 87 play rec, 88 play rec, pretty much everything hits the threshold, right? Besides his zone coverage. His man coverage would be above 90 with lockdown. His press would be only an 80 because he's Deion Sanders. He's not that great at press. His zone will only be like an 86, 85, but that's fine because he gets the man threshold, the play rec threshold. He's going to be really fast, decently tall, super athletic, and you get to say you have Deion Sanders on your team and he can kick return for you guys. This card is a monster. Yeah, at one point he was like more like 150 to power up, but the price of trend, the price of training has been cut in half. So to power up, probably not too expensive right now, guys. I highly recommend you get on that. I even started as Deion Sanders for multiple weekend league runs. He was my starter on my God squad for every week up until this week when I got the full one. So trust me, he played really, really well for me. And if you don't trust him as your number one corner, you can always put him in the slot where he just plays more guys in the you know lower half of the field. But it's up to you. Then there's Randy Moss power up. Same thing, you don't have to actually go get him. You can just go play a solo challenge, do what you gotta do. It is my 10 solos though, so they're probably, they're gone now. So in that case, you'd have to buy it unless you already saved him. But Randy Moss power up guys, I can actually show you how he looks. I have him on my team. He is a starter for me. That's all you gotta know. He's a starter for me on my team. Look at those stats: 90 speed, 91 jumping, 87 catching, 83 catch traffic, 88 spec catch, 81 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 90 deep route running. He's like, he's like a baby Tyree Kill that's tall and can catch better. That's how I see him and better route running. Like take away Tyree Kill speed and just give him height and stuff. Like this Randy Moss, I put him, I put him down low, throw him on drags. Great at, great at short routes, great at doing little things, and then he's also fast enough to be athletic afterwards and make the plays. I like this Randy Moss a lot. On my team, he's not fitting anymore only, though, because I do have Tyree Kill there now with Torrey Holt running my routes. I now need a deep receiver who can go really deep. You know, cat, I, I, need, I need an ag receiver, like an aggressive catch receiver, and his stats are not good enough at this moment for that against the people I play. But again, for a budget team, great, great player to have on your budget team. Now, the next guy... He's a guy that came to my mind. I think I feel like this is pretty clever right here. So, obviously, this card's free. But look. So, Byron Jones. He has a 28k base loot and a 16k power. If you take his power and you power him up with this one right here, you can probably use a power pass on him because I know I definitely have one sitting there. You power pass Byron Jones. You buy this card for 16k. So at this rate, you have a 86 overall cornerback for damn near 16k, right? Because the training is not going to be too much for that. And then if you do the journey or whatever, and you get the new Byron Jones, then you can power him all the way to a 90, 91 for literally 16k. So that's going to be one of the best cornerbacks in the game. A top, he's going to be a top corner at least. No, not the best, but he's going to be up there. 
for 16 to 20k depending on what kind of training you're obviously you have to buy training so that's right let's let's do it to about 40 to 50k worth of training and you're going to have one of the better cornerbacks in the game and if you don't have the journey done you can always just power him up to like an 87 overall cornerback and just rock with him for now which is still great for the low price of trading on that it will cost you that was just a quick little little, little tip right there the next guy tyreek hill now his power might be a lot but guys it is so worth it i bought him instantly Tyree Kill, another guy that is power coach for 49k. So for 49k, you could power him up with this card, which you probably have a power at pass four. If you power him up with this card, you can get him to an 86 overall. Now, you don't have to buy his 92. You could power him up to, I believe, like an 8990 without it. So you can get him to, a, and his card at 8990, so at like 92 speed. So you could power him up all the way, have damn near. Oh, for a budget team too, where you might get matched up with lesser teams to an extent, and matchmaking kind of broken for you. He will be very, very fast for your team. He won't have the 94 speed, obviously, the 95, but he will get like a 92, 93, which is still amazing for a lot, lot less than he actually costs. And again, that's more like those are like some little hint players right there that can really just boost your squad if you know how to properly power them up and you want to use the coins towards that. You remember, like I've been big on that this year. You don't have to actually get their full card. You can just power them up to almost their full card and get a pretty good feel for the card. Next on the list is Devin Bush, guys. Now, he has recently gotten another Team of the Week card. 86 overall Devin Bush. Card's a monster. 88 speed, 89 excel, 84 tackle, 88 hit power, 81 player X, 75 zone. Guys, come on. Come on. Let me compare him to a great middle linebacker for you guys. Compare him to like Shazier. Same speed, better excel, both bad strength. Not too far off on tackle five. Play rec eight. Block shed like nine, eight. No, it's eight. And then power, hit power plus six for Devin Bush, and zones a difference right there. So by ten. So if you're if you're user in both these, right? These are both the user linebackers. So what really matters to user linebackers are speed, their excel, their height, and their hit power. Height, Shazier beats. Him. Speed's the same. Excel's better for Bush. Hit power's better for Bush. So if you just look at that, right? If you look at those stats, what really matters for your user? Bush almost competes as a user almost identical the only difference is Shazier by himself could do a lot more can definitely be a little more consistent for you definitely has a lot better stats but for a user that you're going to use Devin Bush gets the job done you will have a top uh, he'll feel like a 90 overall user for you I'm telling you Devin Bush is that great I used him for quite a bit as my backup until I ended up getting Ray Lewis and then slotting uh, Shazier as the second uh, linebacker now another guy that fits the kind of Tyreek Hill mold if you want to go power Tyreek Hill and do all that McCole Hardman 59 carat here great budget card 94 speed McCall Harmon 85 jumping 84 catching 81 catch and traffic 85 spec catch 80 medium route running 81 deep route running so he has the 80 threshold for route running except for short route decent catching decent jumping decent speed now if you compare him to my Tyreek Hill obviously my Tyreek Hill is powered up if you unpowered up Tyreek Hill these cards are not too far apart so unpowered up Tyreek Hill they have the same speed they have a difference of four jumping McCall Harmon actually has a better catch than Tyreek Hill unpowered up they have three different, uh, two different catch and traffic on Powered Up. Spec catch, McColl beats him by three on Powered Up. Short route running, he is worse by six. Medium route running, he's worse by, oh, actually no, he's worse by four. And then medium route running, he's worse by two. Deep route running, he's worse by nine. So pretty, pretty much the difference between these two cards, on Powered Up, right? The difference between these two cards is deep route running by nine. Everything else is so close, so similar. And obviously Tyreek gets the advantage of being the higher overall. And the reason you want Tyreek Hill over McCole Harbin really is that he gets powered up, he gets abilities, he has a better juke move, and he can get a higher speed because he can get abilities on him, which means you can put cams in, you know, bruiser, brawler, you know, not bruiser, brawler, sprinter, all that stuff. But if you can't afford to do all that stuff with Tyreek Hill, obviously McCole Harbin is the budget option out of the two for that, for the, just that reason, right? That car is crazy. He was on my team. I started him for like a week, and then of course I got Deion Sanders, and then I got Tyreek Hill, and it's like three days later. So then I had my kick returner and I had my receiver, so there was no longer a need for him. Eric Reed, 86 overall, 36k guys. He has 84 speed, 88 excel, 86 play rec, 82 zone coverage, and 83 hit power. So for a budget team that needs a safety that doesn't have Pat Tillman yet, let's compare him to like Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams on my team still plays. He still plays. He's great. And he only has an 82 speed, so he's faster than Jamal Adams. Way better excel. He's way more athletic than Jamal Adams. Not in real life, but in this game. Play rec, almost the same. Pursuit's worse, man's worse, but then zone's better and hit power's way better. So what you're getting out of Eric Reed is a pretty athletic, strong safety that can hit and play zone. 
and it can recognize plays. So that's part of what all you want in a safety, and it's for a budget team, right? A budget team is never going to be great at anything. It's going to be, you want things that are well-rounded, can do a lot of things, have their, so he's going to be a big hitter, but he also combines that with athleticism and zone. That's perfect for a budget team, and for the price, I think that's an awesome card. Now, the next guy on the list is a guy, this is probably by like, this is like the second to last one, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. DK Metcalf. This guy's been doing really, really great for his rookie year. 81 overall, only 9,000 coins. 90 speed, 89 jumping, 75 catching, 80 catching traffic, 82 spec catch. Route running terrific. But I know you guys are definitely big DK Metcalf guys. I know a lot of you guys probably were, you know, the, the hype of him from the draft. You guys probably want one of these in your team. He is six foot three, so you can have a tall receiver with speed, with decent catching, with good jumping. Now, if you look at his behind the card stats, let's see if there's anything that stands out. His strength is 72. Let's see if there's anything that could stand out here on top of that. I mean, just alone, DK Metcalf seems like a cool card to just have. I do not believe he doesn't really have anything that stands out. You know, I thought he'd have some. But a 73 break tackle. Okay. So just DK Metcalf. Straight line speed. Good height. Probably a fun card to use. Now, last on the list is the guy that I have been talking about all year. I don't know why. I don't know if it's an obsession. I've been talking about George Kittle all year, guys. George Kittle powered up is one of the best tight ends in the game, and I still use him since the first day of this game. Let's compare him to his LTD. Powered up, he has two less speed, two less strength, one less catch, two less catch in traffic, two less spec catch, two less short route running, two less short route, uh, medium route running, and one less run blocking. So guys, this card is almost identical to the limited time George Kittle, and he cost me so much less because I was able to use a power pass. You can power pass him with training, and you can uh, and you just spend training after that cost well below like 100k because training is at an all-time low right now it's super cheap so this is the time to power up cards like this what do you what do i what i do i look for in a tight end i look for speed run blocking and catching right now tight ends in my opinion the way i use my tight end is cheesy routes like out routes in routes tight end, routes that are gonna get open on the zone so I don't, I don't use him as a jump ball guy. I have other receivers for that. I don't use him as a jump ball guy. I don't really even play like that, to be honest with you guys. So for me, as a tight end, I'm looking for guys who can, if I, because I find tight ends in open space. I never, I never find them like, contest. I, I get them open. So when they're open, they just need speed to make the play, which is great. 90 catching to make sure he doesn't drop stupid passes at it if he's kind of contested. And then on top of that, he can run block like a lineman. So Kittle can run block, in a meta where we run a lot, run block like a lineman, can catch, can break the big play, guys. Kiddo's an awesome guy. He's only, I think he's a year-long card. I think he's going to keep getting upgrades continuously to keep being the fastest tight end all year. So that is why I want him on my team for the majority of the year. But guys, that is about it for the video. That does wrap it up. I had about nine players on this list. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you pick up any of these guys. Also, comment down below if I missed any budget beasts that you'd like to see on the next on the next installment of this video. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Turn on that noti bell. Hit that sub button. Come join the family. Comment down below, like I said. And give this video a big thumbs up if you made it this far. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.